Research in Starfield is probably going to be a very underutilized, yet one of the most important aspects of the game, especially if you want to do any kind of crafting, upgrading of your outpost, and anything around it. So I'm going to go very quickly through what research is available, how you can get more capabilities out of research, and just overall cover research in Starfield. So let's get into it. Now, as I mentioned in the intro, research is very underutilized, yet needs to be overutilized. And it all starts off with the skills that you have inside of Starfield over in the science tab. Obviously, you start, you can start off with research methods. You don't have to start off with the skill I did because it's very easy to level up. And this allows you to not use as many resources when crafting certain research projects. And these research projects go throughout the entire tree, which allows you to upgrade your weapons, upgrade your spacesuits, upgrades different scanning, upgrades a lot of different different parts of this entire tree, especially items such as Outpost Engineering, when you get to late game, where it's super helpful to have these extra points because it's going to help you develop the outpost quicker and help your overall health in the game. Same thing goes for Weapon Engineering, which allows you to get better attachments, able to equip better attachments, and same for the spacesuit design, which allows you to improve your actual spacesuits, which is always a plus. Now, keeping the skills in mind, I'm going to jump into the research lab because this is where all the main part of your skills and just research in general comes from. You have a bunch of different options, five main areas. Pharmaceuticals, food and drink, outpost development, equipment such as your spacesuits and helmets and jetpacks, and then also obviously weapons. A quick run through of what each of these segments are. It's very straightforward. Pharma helps with your aid items. Food and drink helps you improve and make better aid items such as different food items to help boost your health back to normal. Outpost development obviously helps you create more things in your outposts. Equipment is everything for your helmet, your spacesuits, and your backpacks. And finally, weaponry allows you to put better attachments on all of your weapons no matter what they are. Now where skills come into play in each of these tabs is very different depending on the segment that you're in. For example, in the Pharma segment, I can't create the Performance Enhancement 2 research because I don't have the chemistry skill. Different skills are gonna come into play depending on where you are, as I showed you earlier in this video. Now it really depends where you want to put your skill points into to really focus on the different research and different things you want to focus on in the game. For example, I want to focus on weapon manufacturing and attaching certain items to my weapons. Obviously because firing the weapon is one of the big things in Starfield that keeps you alive. Now, as you can see as I'm scrolling through this, I've already completed some because I don't need certain weapon ranks. Thankfully, on some of these, I already have weapon engineering rank one. So I can go in and see the different items that I can already craft. This is where it gets really intricate and can be sometimes confusing because you see all the materials on the left side that you need to craft these. You're not always gonna have them, but you can always track them by simply pressing the X button and it'll start tracking some of the things that you need, which will allow you to see them in the overworld when you come across them. These can be in a variety of items, it could be raw materials, but the game will let you know if it's something that you're looking for. These same ideas go through every single one of these tabs, and of course, depending on the skills that you have available, allows you to create certain things. Such as you saw me get the outpost engineering skill in the beginning of this video, this has allowed me to create different things for my outposts, such as different manufacturing items that I can place in there, different resource capabilities to allow me to get resources much quicker, or just get different power systems, which helps a ton. It's a lot of different things that go hand in hand with the research you're able to do and the skills you have and can acquire while you're playing the game of Starfield. Now, I know that was a lot of information in a very quick span, so I'll give you an example of what the research does when it goes to actually crafting something such as a weapon. I'm going to go down to one of the pistols that I'm using and go into the laser modification because this is a good example. I have the laser mods available because I have the items here and I don't need any weapon rank research done to be able to put this on here. But if I want to put the recon laser sight on here, I need to go into the research and do optic and laser mod three. This is where it comes into play because if I want to improve my gun that much more by increasing accuracy with the laser mod, I need to do this research. This is where the research really comes into play to make it end game level weaponry, end game level outpost making, spacesuits, etc. Now, thankfully you don't need skills of very specific kinds in the very beginning as you can make regular modifications without them. But the more and more you want to improve your weapons, your spacesuits, your outposts, shoot, your aid materials to get better boosting from those as well, you need to start looking at some of those skills as you go through the game. I highly recommend doing this, taking your time and going through and really playing around with it because this is how I've gotten much better at the game, much stronger very quickly. Now, I hope you guys found this crash course guide to researching in Starfield very helpful. If you have questions, please let 
me know down in the comments. I'll do my best to answer them and kind of guide you through things if need be. But if you guys did find this helpful, do me a favor and hit the like button, hit subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on my next video.